So I avoided getting COVID for over two years, but then right before Steph and I were supposed to start the Tour de Mobile hike, I got it. We've been traveling through the south of France and as a result, I've been quarantining in the beautiful town of Toulouse. Well, beautiful according to Steph because she didn't get COVID and was able to travel around. But my quarantine's over, I tested negative this morning and we're speeding our way to Chamonix, the start of the Tour de Mont Blanc, in order to hopefully start our hike on time. We are 48 hours from starting our hike. We are not where we're supposed to be and we don't have any of our food or gear yet. But I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve over the next couple of days in order to sort all of that out. And we're gonna take you guys along on that journey with daily vlogs. After a train, a bus, and a really long day, we're finally at the base of Mont Blanc. I'm pretty sure it's just over there, so really exciting. But right now, we're gonna be getting some help from Decathlon in order to gear up. Decathlon's been a big help on this trip. Not only are they supplying most of the gear for the hike, but they've also supported a lot of the logistical aspects as well. There's gonna be a bunch of new gear that we're gonna be testing out from Decathlon that I've never tried before, so I'm really excited for that. But we'll talk about that tomorrow when we pack up for the trip. Right now we're gonna visit the mountain headquarters for Decathlon at the base of Mont Blanc. This is where they do all of the design and testing for their hiking, backpacking, and outdoor products. This is the Quesha, I don't know how to pronounce it really well, but this is kind of their wall of history where we have the first two second tent ever, a bunch of fleeces. This brand is more about hiking and backpacking and we're going to go take a look at some of the design work that they're doing here because it's pretty cool. So everyone's broken up into pods, got some camping design work going on on this wall here. Product designer, shoes, some socks. We got some rain gear and fast hiking stuff and then some new fleeces that are going to be dropping next fall right there. So we just saw where all the designing is happening with the designers in that other room here. This is where they're prototyping those designs. So it's really cool that just next door to the, where the design is happening, they can come over here, get the prototypers to put something together and see whether it's gonna be a viable product. What's really cool with this mountain headquarters is that you have the design going on, you have the prototyping going on, but then you also have really good testing capabilities. They have a rain shower for testing tents. They have the beautiful mountains around them as well as a whole bunch of other testing facilities. And then to top it all off, you have a store in the middle of all the design and prototyping and testing facilities. So here we have another prototyping room. Looks like we have some sort of synthetic insulated jacket here that's getting designed. Curious to see what this ends up down the road, but uh, just really cool facilities that they have here. And now we're making our way into the Forcla design room area. So this is where you get things like the Trek 100 down jacket, and some of my favorite decathlon gear, something that I didn't even know that they made was food. So in Europe here, they have a lot of products that we don't have in North America, including a bunch of freeze dried meals. That apparently they're really affordable and also really delicious. So I'm really excited to be able to get my hands on some of these and try them out on the Tour de Mont Blanc. And as we go down, we got mountain trekking design work here. And then you can see at the end there, we have the tent. This is the MT900 trekking pole tent. And you can see here some information about the Forkla undyed items. So you have sleeping bags, sleeping pads, and some tents that all use undyed materials, which is has a much smaller impact on the environment. And then down here, we're in the basement of the mountain headquarters. And this is a secret spot where they basically keep all of their future gear. So we have aisles upon aisles of gear that's gonna be released in the future. Pretty cool to walk through it, but I can't share with you guys because it's top secret right now. Thanks to the decathlon, we're just getting some of our gear. Another really cool aspect trip. is that the design really team is right above the store. So they can just come down and Penny who's been leading us around told me that they often come down and we'll just talk with customers, quiz them, bounce some ideas off them, which it's really rare that a design team will be this close to what's essentially constant focus groups that they have access to. We picked up most of our gear. Steph has hers in her pack there. We're just grabbing a couple last minute items. I'm pretty sure I forgot to bring a pillow for Steph, so we should probably pick one up here. I'd That's a wrap on the mountain headquarters. Steph and I are back here in our hotel room. We're gonna be staying the night. 
the mountain headquarters was a pretty cool place to visit. Steph, what was, what was your favorite part of the tour? Um, my favorite part was probably getting my new pack with all my cool new things, but I really love seeing all of the products that they're going to be releasing in the next couple of years. I think that's really cool that we got to see. Yeah, the, the top secret room in the basement was yeah. definitely pretty epic. And the new gear is amazing. I'm really excited to share with you guys tomorrow during tomorrow's daily vlog. Like I said, for the next 10 days, we're gonna be daily vlogging this trip. Really excited to share the journey with you guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The hike is gonna be challenging. I'm just getting over COVID. Steph has a whole bunch of issues that we're gonna be talking about. <laughs> it's gonna be a wild ride.